Welcome back. So we have with us Takamichi Tsumi, um, and he's going to tell us about a private exchange application that was built on top of ZK Opera. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Um, my name is Takamichi. Today, I'm going to talk about the private exchange. Yes. I'm software engineer at the uh, Privacy and Scaling Explorations team at Ethereum Foundation. And, yep, today I want to explore a privacy preserving decentralized exchange on GK Opru. For this project, we are aiming for more private peer to peer exchange system. And private exchange consists of three different zero knowledge protocols to protect users' privacy. And I, in this talk, I'm not going very deep on the technical details of the protocol, but I will show um, how those protocols works and how the protocols are used in private exchange. All right, before diving right into the private exchange, um, let me start with one question. So. Why do we need privacy? I think there are many reasons for many different people and for many different use cases. So I'd like to share my opinion on this today. The privacy is important because it can contribute to censorship resistance. Like on public blockchain like Ethereum, like the uh, transactions on the all the transactions on the blockchain are all visible to everyone, so it can be censored um, mostly like in the smaller networks because the number of the validators and the block builders are relatively relatively small, so the censorship likely to be happen more often. For example. Um, if you want to spin up minor rollup on Ethereum, this is the case. And for second, it also can mitigate the MEV or front running. If the privacy of the transactions can be kept uh, at work uh, to prevent the MEV and front running. But most importantly, it is a human rights. The privacy is a human rights. Here is a quote from the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights in Article 12. So my opinion is we don't need any reason to work uh, on protecting privacy. We need privacy because it's human rights and we should care when we're building an application. And today in this talk, I will walk you through how we approach um, to protect privacy when building a decentralized application like private exchange. All right, let's get into the interesting part. What is private exchange and how it works? So what we are trying to achieve with the private exchange is to make exchange process more private. Yes, very simple. And don't let users to expose their information or intentions. That's our goal here. So what exchanges do? Exchange, let users exchange their tokens. In this diagram, Alice sends 1.0 ETH to exchange and gets uh, 1,050, uh, 500 DAI in exchange. There are more functionalities, but I'd like to focus this one function 
today. And there are two popular constructions in uh, decentralized exchanges today. The first one is automated market maker. In this kind of ex exchange, users can typically uh, users can exchange their tokens without a counterparty. This means that Alice just interacts with a smart contract and doesn't need to uh, anyone else doing an opposite trade. The price is calculated automatically in the smart contract, and Alice can exchange tokens on that price. The second approach is an order book. In order book, Alice puts something called an order to an order book, and the order contains information such as token pair, amount, and a price. In this example, Alice wants DAI in exchange of ETH, and the amount she wants is 1,500 DAI, and the price is 1,500 DAI per ETH. And if there happens to be some other order by Bob, who wants to do the opposite trade, sending 1,500 DAI for one ETH. Then the order book attempts to match the orders and executes the swap transaction by sending transaction on chain. And one thing to note is that order books can be on chain or off chain. If the order book is on chain, uh, Alice posts an order to the smart contract order book, then Bob finds the order on the smart contract and takes it by sending transactions. And if the order book is off-chain, there's typically some intermediary uh, order book provider that collects all the orders and trying to match the orders. But in either way, uh, the orders Bob and Alice sends includes the information that uh, order book provider or smart contracts uh, can find a pair. Okay, now it's time to think how we can execute the process more privately. In order to make pro exchange process uh, private, we come up with a relatively simple peer-to-peer -peer exchange system. And it is some, somewhat similar to an order book construction here, but it tries to keep information private as much as possible. So let's look at the order book diagram again. Here we can see um, the parts that are not private in this diagram. The contents of the orders Alice and Bob sends to the order book are not private and the transaction that order book sends to the blockchain is not private. So how do we make this more private? Here we use three zero-knowledge protocols, blind find, and the socialist millionaire problem, and ZK Opru. Okay, firstly, let us think of um, how we can make orders more private. In the order book system, order book is the one who collects all the orders from users and make matches. So Alice and Bob needs to send the order data to the order book uh, provider. But if they can compare prices and make a match in a more P2P way by directly, directly um, sending messages to each other, then they don't need to reveal the data to the order book provider at all. But wait, how does Bob reach out Alice in peer-to-peer -peer network? We use blind find protocol here. Blind find is a network that peers have neighborhood lists, and Bob K 
can look up Alice and prove that he can reach to Alice in the network. But importantly, Bob can search for Alice in the network, but without revealing that Bob is the one who is searching for Alice. So the neighbors that receives a message from Bob will never learn that Bob is the one who is searching for Alice. So in this way, uh, Bob have like some privacy uh, of that. He um, have some intention to uh, take the Alice's order in the public aboard. Now, a Bob can reach out to Alice to execute the peer-to-peer -peer order matching. Thanks to the socialist millionaire problem here, we can do the private peer-to-peer -peer order matching. Socialist millionaire protocol is used to check the equality of two values, but without revealing the actual values. So the idea is that they have some numbers in mind. Let's say Bob have um, X in mind and Alice have Y in mind. Then they don't directly um, send in the original values, but instead they derive some values by, by calculating um, some mathematics. And also they use some random values and exchanging messages. Then after the exchange uh, complete, they can test that if the original values that Bob has in mind and Alice has in mind are same or not. But here, Bob cannot calculate back uh, using the received value to y. And Alice cannot calculate x from the derived um, messaging values. And we use this protocol to check if the prices that Bob wants and Alice wants match or not. And here is the how things work in private exchange. So firstly, Alice creates uh, information to public board, but without a price. We call this an advertisement. And Bob finds the advertisement on public board and search Alice in the blind find network. If the price matches, they proceed to create transactions. In this way, we could omit the intermediary who acts as comparing the price and make a, making a match and preventing posting the prices they want to public. Now, the order is partially private because they can uh, post an advertisement without a price. And now, we should think about how we can make these transactions right hand part private. So here comes ZKL Pro. ZK OPRU is an abbreviation of Zero Knowledge Optimistic Rollup. We use ZK Proofs for privacy and optimistic rollup technology as a layer two technology protocol. And in essence, we can make secret transfers with cheap fees. We can prove that those transfers are valid using ZK Proofs but without revealing the contents of the transfers. But there is another thing. A secret atomic swap. So there is a feature called atomic swap on ZKO Brew. 
and let's say that Alice and Bob agreed on some price using socialist million problem, and they can create, uh, they want to create the transactions called atomic swap. Atomic swap transactions are a pair of transactions and has to be included in a same block. So in this uh, case, Bob sent Alice 1,500 die, and Alice sends 1.0 ETH to Bob. The two transactions have to be included in the same block. And if not, it's not valid transactions anymore. And of course, the transactions contents are secret. Even uh, block builders called <coughs> coordinators cannot see the contents of the transactions. So using the secret atomic swap, the transactions sent on the blockchain is private now. So here is a diagram, complete diagram of uh, the private exchange. All right, so let's go over the private exchange flow again. So firstly, Alice and Bob joins the network called BlindFind so that they can reach to each other, but without revealing that they are finding someone in the network. Next, Alice posts an advertisement on the board, but without a price. And next, Bob finds the advertisement, and Bob search for Alice in a blind find. If they uh, successfully Bob finds the Alice, uh, he e start executing socialist millionaire problem to compare the price that they want. And if the price are same, they can create an uh, atomic swap transaction and send it to ZK Opru. In this process, advertisement is partially private and price matching is done privately and peer finding is done privately, and transactions contents is also private. So, um, what I've talked today is one simple example of a privacy application. And what I talked was, firstly, I started with what does this application do? So in our case, it is an exchange. So the exchange let users to exchange their tokens. And in that process, which part of the exchange process is, should be uh, private? In our case, it is an orders and transactions sent on chain. And lastly, uh, I talked about how to make those informations private. We use three zero knowledge protocols, blind find, and socialist millionaire problem, and ZK approve. And as a result, the private exchange does not reveal transactions content and it does not reveal price of the orders to public, and it also does not reveal the peer-to-peer -peer routing in the network. But at the same time, there are challenges in these constructions. Firstly, socialist millionaire problem can check the equality of the values. Therefore, it's not easy to compare 
for example, to use a range to create a match. So uh, in the application, it's harder to find the counterparty like Bob if the SMP can work only this way. Secondly, an advertiser needs to stay online while waiting incoming socialist millionaire problem messages. So Alice, after sending uh, advertisement on public board, she has to stay online until Bob shows up. And finally, users need to join blind find network before starting the process and also run the blind find uh, process while in the application. So these are the challenges um, and it directly affects to the user experience of our application. But some of the challenges can be mitigated on the application layers, but some other needs uh, improvement of the cryptographic protocol layer. So in privacy and scaling explorations team, we do many privacy projects like applications and also cryptographic protocols to improve privacy in this blockchain space. If you're interested in those projects, please take a look at our homepage and Discord. And I want to give a shout out to the ZK Opera team, WhatsApp, Jean, Kimi, Gio, Chance, Shelly, Rachel. Thank you. Um, questions, please? Uh, first quick question, is the SMP uh, interactive or not interactive? It's interactive. So you, so you have to basically, so like if there's a list of N advertisers, a user will have to communicate with every advertiser, right? Yes. So this doesn't really scale well as in, in increases is n squared like complexity for yes okay so that's that's uh, yes that's also uh, our UX challenges as well yeah sort of on the same vein um, one question I had was um, because you know you still have to do the SMP to find the price um, you sort of know a general idea of the price because you have other markets that you can measure the price from. And so, um, is there any prevention mechanism for like a mass de-anonymization of the of the price, the ads, uh, in a way that somebody could just keep trying to uh, discover the price and, and build up an order book that sort of matches the expectation of the ads? Because there's no obligation to actually trade on any of these ads, right? So you could just try to brute force um, figure out the actual order. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so. Uh, for current implementation, we don't have like such um, features, but as you said, it needs like the tr uh, many times of SMP trial to find uh, the price matches, and also uh, we don't have like the prevent it, to prevent such DDoS like types of attacks right now. So, yeah, we need to uh, work on that UX. Um, Implement as well. Thank. Thank you. <laughs>